Cancer. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 29th of January to the 4th of February 2024. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Cancer, straight into this, you get the full moon in Sagittarius, look at the bigger picture, see a situation for what it really is, someone for who they really are, maybe in a positive way, it may be in not such a positive way, but being aware of the bigger picture there, maybe in a more positive way, you get the new moon in Libra, a new romantic cycle begins, wow, could be an existing relationship, this may be somebody extremely brand new, but look at the bigger picture as this new romantic cycle begins. Oh la la, cancer. Maybe seeing somebody in a very favourable way here. Right, so 29th of January to the 4th of February 2024. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for cancer. Overall, two of wands. Focusing on where you are heading here, your dreams, your goals, knowing that you do have to keep moving towards them. They don't just land in front of you or land in your lap, not usually anyway, but focusing on what you want, who you want, where you want to be, keeping that momentum happening, that energy moving forward towards that. Love that. Monday, a new romantic cycle begins. Here's a message coming in, an offer of love. You may be offering that to someone. They may be offering that to you. It still may be an existing relationship. This may be somebody brand new. Maybe um, a different culture, different nationality, same-sex relationship, younger age gap involved here. Doesn't have to be, but ultimately this message is coming in here. Look at the bigger picture as you see this message. Temperance, Tuesday, may have connection to a Sagittarius, Cancer, going with the flow, not forcing the issue, not trying to get the results sooner than they need to be happening, but going with the flow here. It's like that, um, always say, the flow of water with the dam and then the dam breaks and it's like white water rafting to start with and this is possibly a new romantic cycle beginning it seems to be all on it's all happening full speed ahead and then things do start to slow down and become a lot more manageable with that temperance going with the flow oh <laughs> wednesday princess of pentacles definitely an offer that is coming in of some sort here maybe a job offer maybe a offer on a home it may be this offer of love but ultimately confident the two of you do work well together. You do make a good team here. Read the fine print if there's a um, legal contract involved, but this is about working together. Somebody is definitely bringing an offer to the table here. Look at the bigger picture, but it may be that romantic cycle. King of Cups on Thursday. Being in control of your emotions here not letting your heart run away with you, not letting your head run away with you. It is about keeping your feet on the ground, especially as you do look at the bigger picture here, you see what's really this offer is bringing in. King of Pentacles, Friday, love this, Cancer, success. It is suddenly on your doorstep. We talked about it doesn't land on your doorstep usually. This may overwhelmingly seem like, yeah, 0 to 360 in 5 seconds. This is talking about um, starting a project, starting something off here, and then it's all on. And we said even a new romantic cycle, new chapter of some sort, any sort, it's all on at the beginning. Saturday, the Hierophant may have connection to a Taurus here. Following your beliefs, um, standing up for yourself, letting your voice be heard. There may be somebody that is saying, well, you can't be with this person. You can't do this job. You can't live here. What are you doing? Um, and this is about digging your heels in, but doing this your way, following your beliefs here. Ace of Wands, Sunday. 
waiting for an apology, I always say it may never ever arrive. If they don't think they need to apologize for something, they're not going to. Even if they know they need to apologize for something, they're not always going to. And this is now a new focus that you have here, this Ace of Wands. This new romantic cycle begins. This may be what this new focus is right here. Look at the bigger picture. Feel like you are starting to see someone in a more favorable way or see the next chapter in a very favorable way. And um, you are ready to actually get this happening. Cancer, let's clarify. Two of Wands overall for the week. Six of Wands, Eight of Swords, Three of Swords. There has been some interference, some meddling that has caused some heartbreak here, but I feel like you've started to take action to find other ways around things. And again, I always say legally and morally, but ultimately with this detour, you are claiming this victory, taking it with both hands and running with it. And it is leaving behind this energy that is trying to interfere and meddle here and cause, um, I'm going to say, cause some grief. Feel like it is around somebody that you are with, that somebody is trying to be the spanner in the works. Wow. Monday, Cancer, Princess of Cups. Justice, look at that, the moon death. Super energy. Yeah, if I can spread those around that way a bit. Um, sweet justice, I always say. The moon is giving you a lot of clarity here to see what this offer is of love that is coming in, this new romantic cycle that begins. And it's allowing you to close the past off, which I feel like is this Three of Swords energy and to focus on the chapter ahead, the new romantic cycle that is beginning. Um, may have connection to Pisces, Libra, Scorpio here, but um, this is all about this offer coming in and bringing this new cycle and bringing some sweet justice. Karma may be around this, what this third party energy had been trying to prevent you from moving forward. Whoa, Cancer. Okay, so Temperance Tuesday. These flew out. Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, the Hermit. May have connection to a Virgo. Emotional detachment here. It's taken a lot of hard work, a lot of focus, a lot of dedication to get things moving at a steady pace that you're able to maintain that momentum, keep up with that pace of that energy there. There has been this emotional detachment that's needed to be had. I feel it's around this third party energy, but ultimately now you are able to take some time to do some soul searching, to see that light at the end of the tunnel, where that flow of energy is taking you. But also being aware of where what's happening around you, where this flow of energy is taking you. Not shutting everyone out, not shutting the world off, while you get um, some hard work in here, this is still about maintaining things moving forward and being aware of, of the direction that you're taking here. Princess of Pentacles, Wednesday. Five of Cups, the High Priestess, Four of Cups. The offer that's coming in, there is some sort of emotional sadness you're going through and I feel it's back to this third party energy and it's always I say don't let others tell you to hurry up and move on or hurry up and get over it but it is taking a lot of your focus, a lot of your time, a lot of your energy but everybody does this in their own way. Around this Princess of Pentacles, this offer is coming in to be by your side. Somebody is sticking to you and not letting you go through this sadness on your own. Knowing that loving energy is around you there. But um, you're quite happy at the moment to sit back and watch what's going on around you. And by watching what's going on around you, I do still say shifting that focus to see what some of these other cups are. To see what this offer is that is coming in here. King of Cups, Thursday, Ace of Wands, Princess of Wands, Princess of Cups. Yeah, this new focus, this offer that is coming in here, a loving offer, a new romantic cycle that's beginning here. Yeah, keeping your feet on the ground, but now having this whole new focus here. 
very compassionate, very giving, willing to share your ideas here with somebody, feel like it is somebody significant, you are able to focus on this new chapter. You are able to make a clear decision around this, this offer um, without your heart ruling your head here. You are able to look at things clearly. King of Pentacles, look at the success suddenly appear. Five of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, power couple now, and the Hierophant, which you go into next. Definitely this, this is an energy that's trying to put a halt to this journey. And this is something, again, that feels like you're banging your head against a brick wall when you are trying to speak up and say, look here, this is my life, this is what I'm doing. I feel like this energy just keeps hammering away at you, and it does feel like you're getting one hell of a headache um, by banging your head against that brick wall. But then you have the power couple here, Queen and King of Pentacles now, and looking back at the hard work you've put in, the achievements, the results, and the success that is coming your way, and it's coming your way very quickly. And I feel like it is because pretty much it's like stomping your foot on the ground and saying, stop, look, listen to me, um, and saying your piece and speaking up here. So you go into the Hierophant Saturday. These two flew out. Seven of Wands, brilliant. Ten of Cups, King of Swords. Very swift action being taken here. Using your head over your heart. Persistence, not giving up, not quitting. This Hierophant energy, you're not letting that get in your way here. You're looking at the bigger picture with that full moon in Sagittarius, and you are taking some swift action here. Thinking, think, thinking things through, that was hard to say, logically, level-headedly, but not giving up, not quitting, whether it's not quitting on yourself, not quitting on love, someone in particular, not quitting on what's going on around you. There is emotional happiness, um, and you're not letting somebody else try and put things in a different direction. Sunday, Ace of Wands, Cancer. Nine of Swords, Judgment, Four of Wands, Stability, Commitment, you know what that means to you, and this is about, yes, not judging others, not letting others judge you either though, I feel like this Hierophant energy is actually someone coming in and trying to, again, put you off the course that you're wanting to be on here, it's causing a lot of stress, a lot of sleepless nights, it's being aware of that energy, but coming back to looking at the bigger picture here, um, because again, knowing what you want, who you want, where you want to be, knowing what stability and that commitment does mean to you, and coming back to overall, having that focus on your dreams and your goals and where you want to be heading. So the universe, Princess of Swords, Ten of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Bring it on. It feels like you are still hanging on to something or someone here. Um, but you are remaining balanced, but it's a burden that has weighed you down and bring it on You're ready to release this burden and be done with it and get this journey New romantic cycle even to get this on the go So cancer star temple you get the 36 the cosmos ascend I connect to oneness and expand my awareness and this is exactly looking at the bigger picture right there. That awareness around you. Star words, oneness, unison, arise. You are in a powerful cycle of spiritual expansion. This opening out into oneness consciousness accelerates your spiritual growth and psychic awareness. The realization that we are all connected opens up your psychic sight to reveal a clear connection to higher realms. The sisters of the cosmos are supporting you to extend your awareness to the infinite potential and possibilities available to you. Lift your vibration and ascend into the Pleiades vision of unity. Willingness to see a higher vision creates expansion. Love that with the reading. So Cancer, that's what I have for the week. Thanks for watching. Many blessings to all of you. And I'll see you all next time. See ya.